Welcome to ITSS Online Training. I'm Pierre Fredriksen from Seven Technologies Denmark, and I'm here to present our SCADA system ITSS. This is lesson 20, customizing standard reports in ITSS. In ITSS, you can actually customize the standard reports that come with our system. By default, they will appear in the Microsoft Access program, uh, but you can actually export them to Excel and make modifications to the Excel sheet, making it a template, a customized template for all your Excel reports. So this is what I want to show you now. And we will start out by looking at the report format, the standard report format we created in definition. So let's start the definition module. In the start menu, double click on the definition module. We move into the edit menu. We select report formats, second from the bottom. As you can see, we have a number of report formats here. These are from the demo configuration, but I've added data to Excel report to show you this functionality. I have created an extra section called flow meters. It contains three flow meters, Q1 to Q3. If I select them all, you can see that I have selected all values, total, reduced, standard deviation, and total idealized for the final report. If we run this report, we do it from the Supervise module. We go into the User Programs menu in Supervise, we select Periodical Reports, and as you can see, by default, we enter the Microsoft Access program, and we can choose a report date, and we can select Data to Excel. This will create an Excel file with this content, uh, we see an overview report with the three flow meters. We see a detail report for the hours of the day for the three flow meters. And that's what we get by default. But you can change this default by going into the template for this report. So let's close it and go into the report folder of the configuration. Now in the report folder of the configuration, you will find um, some Excel files. Uh, data to Excel report.xls. That's the one, uh, that's the template that was generated when I clicked the data to Excel button. So if I move into this Excel file, this will create a template for the data to Excel report template. So um, Q4, that's a total flow that I also want to report in my report. That's the total flow of Q1, Q2, and Q3. Now, I add this column to Microsoft Excel uh, simply by making a sum in this field. I select the three cells that should be calculated as a sum. I expand the selection so that I get a sum for all these individual hours of the day for Q4. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to do a chart for the total flow of Q1, Q2, and Q3. So I select the total values, the three of them at the bottom here. I select those cells. I go into the Insert tab in Excel 2007, click on Pi, select the first Pi option, and here you got it. Now we need to change a few things on the chart to make it a little bit more interesting. Go to the Layout tab, first a chart title. Chart title above chart. Q4, total flow. And we can go into the actual pie chart and we can go again to the layout tab and we can say data labels, we want them centered in the individual pies. Finally, we can also select the legend over here on the right side. We can select, select data. We can go in and we can uh, choose what we want to show in the legend. We want to show Q1, Q2, and Q3, so I select that range, and there you go. I have my final uh, chart here. Okay, next thing is that we also want a detailed graph for the individual hours of the day for Q1 to Q3. So we select the uh, hours and we select the values for Q1 to Q3. When we have that selected, we can go into the Insert tab 
and we can create a so-called scatter chart. I select this one and I already have a nice chart but of course I want to make a few changes to it. I want to have the right labels here. So series 1, 2 and 3 we want to change to Q1 to Q3. Select the legend, right click, choose select data. Now we change the series individually. Series 1 should be Q1 and series 2 should be Q2. Series 3 should be Q3. There you go. And we click OK and we have a very nice chart here, which is dynamically updated. Now, in order not to remove the next column there, the extra column that I've created and the extra charts, we, want, we need to manipulate the VBA code a little, otherwise it will override the additions I made. So I need to go to the Developer tab in Excel 2007. Remember that you have to enable this tab in, in the Options dialog box. Developer tab, click on Macros, select the Make Detail Report Macro, that's the one we want to manipulate, click Edit to go into the Macros, double click this workbook, that's the Excel Macro object, then we need to find the line, we make a simple search here, we need to find the text Clear Sheet, and as you can see, uh, if I remove this single quotation mark, then it will actually clear the sheet before it is populated with data. But I don't want that to happen, so I simply put in a single quotation mark to uh, disable that functionality. I close the uh, VBA editor and I close my Data to Excel template. I save it. And if I go back to my supervised module now, I go back to Supervise, User Programs, I select Periodical Reports again, just as I did before. I have my Data to Excel report. Now if I click Data to Excel, the Data to Excel button now, it will actually take my customization of the Excel template and do it every time I generate this report. Click on Data to Excel. I have my Excel report here, nothing has happened to the overview report, but when we go to the detail report sheet, we can see that I have my extra column with the total flow, I have my pie chart, and I have my scatter chart with the detail values for the three flow meters. That's all for now. Thank you for listening. For more information about IGSS, please visit our website www.70.dk slash IGSS.